All right, y'all, this is my pantry. We'll start on the floor. I know y'all's don't look like this. I know y'all's is all nice and neat. But mine is not, as you can see. <laughs> it's a hot mess. I got stuff everywhere. Stuff that don't fit anywhere else goes into the pantry. Because I used to have a lot of storage space at my old apartment. But here I do not. So, things that don't belong anywhere else or that don't, I can't, I don't have a space for, they go into the pantry. So, we're going to organize it a little bit better so it doesn't show all the stuff that doesn't belong here. Or that's out of order. And I'm sure y'all don't have empty things that you should have thrown away because you're not going to eat that little bit of it. But this is my pantry, and it is a hot mess, as I said. So we're going to reorganize it. I redid my pantry and I had it somewhat organized in the apartment I was in before but then when I moved into the house I had a lot more space because I didn't have a pantry in my apartment so I went and bought plastic bins from the dollar store but then I couldn't get enough of them so I went to TJ Maxx last night and I got these baskets and so let's start at the bottom shall we all right I got this big basket that's got sodas for my work and carry out trays for when we have family dinners and so forth. People can take leftovers with them. And then my canned goods are over here. And then I have my charcoal and my bug zapper I've never used um, for the summer. And this is where I keep my napkins. I use, these I use every day. So um, I like to have them handy so we can get them. And then the baskets. I just put whatever in them. Some of them are empty because I have not gone grocery shopping. I was trying to get the baskets and stuff that match. This one here is from the Dollar Tree. I got it a couple years ago, which I really like because that's where I keep my command strips and some little tools in there. And I think there's even tape in there. Um, and over on this side, um, I have the baskets. For my rice and then I have this container but I like it in here because when it's on here it's not a strong enough surface and I'm afraid it's gonna slide off and then my bread I thought these were really cute from the dollar store and they hold a loaf of bread just perfectly and then I got these baskets to this this size and then the larger size I put I keep my iron in here I put it in here um, and also my bleach is back here but um that way it's out of the way. That's where I have it accessible because I don't have a lot of storage space. And then some canned goods. These are containers I got from the Dollar Tree years ago, which work perfect because they hold exactly one box. And we have our bow tie noodles, which we love. And then our little mini bow tie. Those are mine and my son's favorites. And then up here in this container, I have um, my drill I had just bought um, so I could drill things to put up pictures and so forth and this is a lantern I have from QVC and all the sides light up and also you could take these off and you can push it and have a light like that or you can push it again and have like a flashlight so I thought that was really neat I had bought my older son one for Christmas a few years ago um, it costs a lot more, of course, but it's a lot bigger. But this is really great in case your power goes out. So, And I have it here accessible so my son can get it if he needs it. And then I have, back here is my grandma cookie jar. I do not use it because I don't eat cookies like that. But I have it back there storing it because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And then this is just a thing I had bought I think from the Christmas tree store or somewhere I'm not really sure where I bought it from and it has for plates for serving and stuff and 
I mean drinks, waters, and so forth. And the water is I use for my coffee pot. And then we have the drinking water. We also have one on our refrigerator, but we don't ever use that one. But then I have my beef stew and things. I have taco seasonings and so forth. And just things that you need to keep on a daily basis that you might need. And also this country sausage gravy. This is really good. There's one by Libby's too. I think the Libby's is a little bit better, but it's really good. Like if you want to have biscuits and gravy and you don't want to actually cook the gravy, that really is good. And I always keep a lot of cream of mushroom. We love it. And you can use it on anything. You can use it with your chicken to cook with. You can use it as a gravy. Add just a little bit of water to dilute it so it won't be so thick. And that's my pantry. And cereals over here, let me turn around. Cereals, I do not keep them in the containers. I take them out and we put a, we use the handy dandy clothespin. Works fine for chips and everything else. But then that way, um, usually we put them in a baggie, but we just haven't got to that point yet because uh, we just opened this one. So, but it's handy. You should put them in a Ziploc bag. That way they'll stay fresher because we don't eat cereal a lot. So we usually keep them in a Ziploc bag. And this is my pantry. I was really upset because I could not get these bins. I went back to several, that dollar store that I went to, I went to several dollar stores. Nobody even had anything close when I bought these. I bought them all at one time. And then I tried to go online. When you go online, you have to buy a minimum of 36. So I'm thinking I don't need 36 of them. So I went ahead and just kept these and then bought the baskets. So I love both. I really, really love these baskets. And for the baskets, I have different things in them. This has stuffing mix, because sometimes we have stuffing mix. And it also has, um, for my trail mix, I like the, it's Reese's, but it's not, um, it's peanut butter, Reese's little pieces, morsels. And I like that in my trail mix. Some of the trail mix comes with it, some of it does not. I'm trying to think of what else I have in here. Oh, these are for my, oh. And let me say this too. Um, I got these for a set. There was a set of three for $24.99. And then some of them were $5.99. And there was a couple that was $7.99. But I thought that was a really good deal. And this has got tea in it, big tea bags. And also it has a package of cream in it. I get little spurts when I want tuna. But here lately I haven't wanted any tuna. So. And then the big tea bags. Um, they're not tea bags, I don't think, they're the little ones. I picked them up by mistake. And then the filter for my coffee maker, I haven't ever put in there. And then these two are empty, I'm not sure what I'll put in those. Um, depending on when I go to the grocery store, that'd be great for, um, like garbage bags and so forth. So, and then the two bins up top. This one has the Solo Cups in a Walmart bag. We use those from time to time when we have a family dinner. And that is it for my pantry. I, you know, as I said before, I use other things too. Um, tools, you know, my hammer and stuff is usually in here. I just don't have it in here yet. Um, but I keep those things in here because it's handy and it's accessible. And this is my pantry tour. Let me know what you think and think, tell me if you think I should spray paint these the same color as these to match these. I'm really not sure, I'm kind of torn between. I really like these because I think these are really pretty color, look like spring. So I really like these and I really don't want to paint them because I don't want them peeling. And since they have a lot of intricate work, I don't want it to be dripping in between and so forth. But for right now, this is what we're going to use. So tell me what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family and come back to see us. Y'all take care, bye.